Maybe you've seen one of these. This is a card that's supposed to show magnetic fields and not much to it. Um, what you do is you take your magnet and you put it underneath there. Um, and you can see the white line around it. Now this magnet is north and south on the, on the flat ends. So this is one of the ends. I don't know whether it's north or south. And this is the other one. And you can just see the white line around there. And, uh, yeah, you can see the field lines forming. Let's see what else I have. I have another. This is a very strange little magnet because instead of the uh, ends being north and south, the sides, one side is north. You can see north and south. I think that's the south. And that's the north side. Um, so, yeah, if we put it underneath here and rotate it around, you can see the north-south line and then finally I have a, a, a magnet from a, a permanent magnet motor and I believe this one has six segments in it if we go around there and count them it has yeah I think it's six um, yeah I wrote it on the end in fact six segments um, so yeah I mean you know the old way of doing this was with the uh, was with the paper and the uh, iron filings and so forth. Um, and I think, frankly, that works better. I mean, you know, if you did that with, uh, if you used the iron filings with something like this, you'd see all the little fine lines. And this, it just uh, doesn't happen. So the uh, resolution on this is not very good. And the other thing is, if you move it too fast, it doesn't show. So if you try to use this to look at changing magnetic fields, say with a uh, solenoid, something like that, can't see them unless they're really slow. It only cost a few bucks. However, and, you know, I, I don't know, maybe if you are teaching a science class or something and it's interesting, but again, you can't see all the detail of the field lines uh, that were so fascinating, like when you were in school and your science teacher showed you that. Um, but yeah, it's okay. I understand it works because each one of these little dots you see on here is a, a, a bubble it's a little plastic bubble that's filled with an oil and inside the oil is a little flake of nickel and when the uh, magnetic field is one way the uh, nickel lines up one way and it looks dark and the other way it's flat and it looks light because it's uh, reflecting the light back so yeah and because it's uh, you know flake of nickel in oil it won't respond very quickly so that's not something you can overcome Okay, well, uh, yeah, I'm kind of uh, kind of torn on this and whether it's worthwhile or not uh, for a few bucks. I don't know. I've got so much uh, junk in drawers that I'm trying to get rid of. But, uh, you know, uh, up to you. Maybe a few bucks is okay. Well, I hope you found that useful and interesting in your home magnetic or electronic experimentation.